14 years old. I'm from Torrance. Okay, do you know what gentrification is? No. Alright, let me let you know real quick. So basically, gentrification is the process of like taking an established neighborhood and like renovating it and making it more urban. So that sometimes wipes out an entire culture that's already there. We just wanted to know if that's something that you've been aware of or that exists in your own neighborhood. Not really. Not really? Not happening in Torrance? It's not happening where I'm from either. But I just kind of wanted to get your thoughts on it, like what you think about these people who are being displaced and replaced by more like modern cosmopolitan areas. Mm, no. Uh, I don't know. It's like, why would you like replace it if they're already there? Like, what's the point? Like, I mean, there's other people, but like, there's people already there, so it's like, why would you do that? Okay, cool. One more question. Also. In some communities, this is actually happening. What do you want, or what do you think should be done to stop gentrification, or prevent it from happening in other communities? Mm. I don't know. In your name? Uh, I'm Brandon. I'm Francisco. Maria. And where you guys are from? Like school-wise? Um, or no, like where you live. I'm from Southern California. Same. Okay, so do you guys have any idea what gentrification is? Uh, no, I no. Know. It's basically like when established neighborhoods, it's happening in like Lamar Park and places like that in Baldwin Hills. So like established neighborhoods are being taken over like by more affluent companies and they're like making it more urban and like... Want to know your guys' thoughts like... I mean, to, to start off like you shouldn't even do that, that's, that's wrong. You know? I feel like that's kind of messed up because it's like we're all of us like there's different um, there's different races out here so it's like why are they trying to take over all these races and stuff? Yeah. Also, I have, a, I have a question for you. Since there's a lot of gentrification here happening in South Central LA, like tearing down like apartments and rebuilding them and overpricing them for different ethnicities or people to come in. What would you guys do to stop gentrification? Honestly, I don't know. I'd probably like peaceful protests or something like that. Yeah. Protest? I live in Tahanga. Okay. So we want to know if you knew what gentrification was. If not, we no. can explain it. Okay. Please explain. So basically gentrification is the process of more established neighborhoods becoming urbanized and like bigger, more affluent residents taking over the property just to make it more metropolitan. And it displaces a lot of the people who already live there. Right. I mean, typically it is minorities. Um, so we wanted to know if that was something that ever, that was affecting your neighborhood or if not anywhere around you that you were aware of. Um, and we wanted to know your opinions on it. Because people do think it's a good thing, kind of just like facelifting a lot of the communities here and bringing in more good for the economy I can and stuff see like it that. that way, but I also see the other um, perspective mm -hmm. of like displacing people. Yeah, I mean, that's as far as my opinion goes, I yeah. think. Okay. It is what it is most of the time when it comes to politics and yeah. economics, and I believe there's a bigger balance to everything, and things will fall into place, and it's never going to be a perfect world for everyone. Hey, yeah, my name is Annie. Hi, uh, where are you from? I'm from Palos Verdes. Is gen do you know what gentrification is? Yes. Is that something happening around your neighborhood? or? Um, definitely where I live in Los Angeles. Not really where I'm from, but where I live in Los Angeles, definitely gentrification is a big part of the neighborhood. Do you have any thoughts on it, good or bad? Because people see it both ways. Yeah, I'm actually in school for real estate development, wow. so kind of we're looking at gentrification a lot. If done in the right way and kind of in an educated manner, then I think it can be a good thing. But if it's uncontrolled and kind of, you know, done for money or for, you know, kind of what are the motives, um, you kind of have to look out for that. But done in the right way, I think gentrification can be a positive thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Do you have any opinions on like the families that are being displaced from their neighborhoods? Um, I think that's a very important thing, like I said, about being smart about it. 
So I think being smart about how it's going to affect who's already there. It's not like un, um, untouched land that you're just kind of coming in and developing or, you know, changing. Um, so yeah, you have to really take that into account and really kind of appreciate what was there. And um, I don't necessarily think gentrification always needs to mean relocation of people, um, but a lot of times it does. So. Um, kind of like ideal scenario versus um, what actually ends up happening. So yeah, there's a lot of different parts and pieces and you know, I'm still trying to figure it out too. Um, but yeah, the politics and the money and then in the end it's the people that live there. So you have to make sure it works for, for all the pieces. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna continue happening in like low income areas in Los Angeles? Um, I think it's going to happen everywhere in Los Angeles uh, at some point, I mean, um, people are just coming here and they have been for many years, but um, I think hopefully negative gentrification won't happen everywhere, you know, reckless gentrification, hopefully not, but I, yeah, I do think it's going to be something that we're going to be dealing with for a long time and people just need to... Um, kind of keep speaking up and saying I'm not being represented or I'm not getting what I want out of this. Do you think it affects things like the crime rate or the education system in certain districts in Los Angeles? Education system. Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> Heather, Huntington Beach. Okay. Do you know what gentrification is? Okay, well, I think it's when like a new population from of people come in and like replace some other population of people. I kind of thought it was associated with age, but I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. No, you're right on track. Oh, yeah. yay. What are your opinions on gentrification? Oh, um, <laughs> hmm, I never really thought about it. Um, I think it's kind of, um, I don't know. I don't think I have any opinions on it. To it's, me, it's just something that happens. It happens. Is there gentrification going on in Hunt, um, Huntington Beach? Uh, yeah, they're trying to make it easier for um, people who don't make as much money to move to the area. So naturally, I would think that would be younger people who make lower salaries. That's, but I'm not sure. That's, I've never heard of gentrification like that. It's a good that you told me. Because oh. normally when I think of gentrification, I think of it as them making houses more expensive and kicking those who can't really afford it out? Oh, um, actually there's a lot going on in um, my city to protect people who live in the mobile home parks and a lot of them tend to be retired older people. Mm -hmm. And then there are 12 low income communities where they cap the sell price so that people who make a more moderate income can buy and then live in those homes. So, but that might be more specific to where I live. That's really cool, though. Yeah, um, I'm a teacher, and so all of my neighbors are, you know, like a FedEx guy. It's not like doctors and lawyers or people who bought, like, homes and they rent them out to make a profit. It's not like that. Yep. That's great seeing gentrification in a more positive light, because a lot of the people that we've been talking to tend to see it negatively. So that was really interesting. Uh, I see a lot of things neutrally, because I'm a science person. So I don't have a lot of opinions unless it's... I know more about it mm -hmm. and it being disruptive to like a community or culture so I think if I knew more about it and knew more negative things about it maybe I wouldn't like it